Hey, what's happening everybody? Anthony here with Duke City Aquariums and welcome back. And today we have a really quick video. Um, today we're going to be unboxing this. This just came in the mail today. And also I wanna do a quick little update on the fish room kind of, I guess now it's more of a fish wall. I did a little bit of reorganizing. So we're gonna go through all of that, unbox a brand new fish and kind of get it going. All right, so stick around. Alrighty, so I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you around a little bit first before we pop this fish open and kind of see what I've been doing, what we have going on. I do have a new project that I did start on. Um, I have posted a few pictures on Instagram, so if you're not following me on there, please do so. Just uh, type in at Duke City Aquariums and shoot me a follow. And always uh, definitely make sure to send me a DM of your your aquariums and your fish and all that stuff because I love seeing everyone's everyone's setups and all that good stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and walk through and uh, take a look at what's been going on with uh, with me at Duke City Aquariums. Alrighty, so I have completely switched around the entire front office area. Um, my desk used to be up against this window here, but I did move it to be against that wall there. And then I added another aquarium back there where my desk used to be. So now I pretty much just have this entire wall full of tanks. And then of course I still also have my 75 gallon African cichlid aquarium right there. So, um, starting here for everybody who hasn't seen, um, or for anyone who is new to the channel and you haven't, you're not familiar with the aquariums that I do have. This is a uh, 38 gallon reef aquarium. It's the Nuvo uh, 38 gallon cube. So it's the older model. It does have the rounded corners. This is one of the newest aquariums that I have acquired. I just have my two clownfish in there, Wyoming whites, and I definitely have a bunch of corals in here as well. Um, actually, so speaking of this, I actually just got this in the mail not too long ago. This is from Orphic, Let's see if I can't get it to focus there. Yeah, Orphic Reef Aquarium Lens. Now these, I picked this up on Amazon. It wasn't too much, but what it is, is uh, it's something that you can put in front of your camera to, um, to kind of like correct the lighting because um, reef tanks, um, for on a camera anyway, they just look blue. But with those lenses, it actually shows a lot better color. So I think I'm gonna play around with that um, coming up pretty soon. So I have my Reef Aquarium, then I have my Pseudotrophia Solosi Aquarium, just 55 gallon in Buna tank. Of course, of course, I do have my Flowerhorn Cosmo here. He's hungry, he's, he's getting all excited. <laughs> All right, he is a golden base flower horn. He resides in this 90 gallon. This is actually one of the most recent videos I did. I completely redid this 90 gallon aquarium. I put tile on the bottom. I put a big air disc in there. I have an aqua clear 110 on it. And um, yeah, just very, very minimal tank with my flower horn. And this is the last tank that I have set up. It is, it's full of water, but it doesn't have any livestock in it. So what this is, this is a 20 gallon long. And for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, this is the tank that Cosmo actually was in while I was redoing his 90 gallon aquarium. He was sitting in this tank um, for, uh, for a couple weeks while I was redoing the 90. So what have I done in here? I have, um, let's see, so for those of you who don't know, uh, I used to have an 18 gallon reef aquarium. That one, I completely broke it down and I added all that stuff into this 20. So I took out all of the sand, I took out the rock, I took out the filter, the heater, the power head. So this is full of salt water. This is, uh, this is gonna be a salt water aquarium. However, I do need help deciding what I wanna do with it. I can't decide if I wanna go uh, just fish or fish and corals or maybe just clowns and anemones maybe. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. So definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys wanna see in this 20 gallon long uh, salt water aquarium. I think, um, honestly, I think it looks great the way it is. Um, if I do decide that I wanna do an, en an enemy or corals, not just a fish only system. I am going to be upgrading the light. Um, this is just a, a cheap Amazon light, but if I do wanna end up growing something in here, I will upgrade my light. But if I go with a fish only system, there really is no need for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys wanna see in this aquarium. 
Alrighty, so there is the new layout of the Duke City Aquarium's uh, gallery fish wall thing, I guess, if you will. Um, I hope you guys really like it. I really like the new setup. I like my desk being over here on this side. Got the tanks behind me. I think it looks really cool. And it's also a lot more functional, too, especially when I do water changes. I just go like boom, 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 uh, tank to tank to tank, and um, and it works out really well. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and unbox this fish that, uh, that this whole video has been about. So let's go ahead and take a look. So really quickly the fish that or the the tank that this fish is going to go into is my 38 gallon reef aquarium so that already tells us that it's salt water so where did i get this from this is from foxy saltwater tropical fish um it's a website that i stumbled upon when i was looking up um where to buy this specific fish um now I, uh, this, this fish that I'm unboxing today, this is one of the, my favorite saltwater fish. This is actually one of the fish that actually got me into the saltwater hobby to begin with. Um, as many of you know, this is a primarily freshwater aquarium channel. Saltwater is very, very new to me and I'm still learning a lot as I go. However, um, this fish is one that I've liked for a very long time since the movie Finding Nemo came out many, many years ago. Um, spoiler alert. Um, so I decided I wanted one of these fish, so I went ahead and ordered one online. So, all right, so let's go ahead and take this fish out of the box. So, uh, we do have quite we do have quite a process before we place them in the aquarium. Uh, many of you in this hobby know that you don't just take the fish and put them in your tank right away. There is a slight process, but for everybody who who's new or who wants to know how to properly acclimate a fish, we'll go through that today. So. Let's go ahead and take out the fish, see what we got, see how they're doing. Oh man. Oh man, he's beautiful. He's a little scared right now. He's kind of freaking out. Let's see if you guys can focus on him. It's kind of hard to see. He's kind of hard to see in the bag. This is the Royal Grama. And this is a fish that I have wanted for a very, very long time. Now, in the 38-gallon aquarium, uh, the only fish I have in there are two Wyoming white clownfish. And then I also have, uh, like, cleanup crew snails and crabs and stuff. But I did want another reef-safe fish um, that would go go well in that tank. And uh, and I asked around on my local fish store, and they recommended a Royal Grama. Now, I was going to buy one at my local fish store, but they, they were all out. They, they had sold out. So I decided to order one online. That's when I came across Foxy Saltwater. Uh, I think it's called Foxy Saltwater Tropical Fish, I think. Um, I checked it out. Um, if you haven't heard of them or haven't ordered from them, I highly recommend checking out their website. Um, just one look at the fish that they have, one look at their prices, one look at their about us page. I read the whole thing. Um, it made me seem like it, it, it made me uh, think of um, like it would be a really good company to order from and get fish from. So uh, I ordered it and this is it. This is the live unboxing. Uh, fish is alive packaging was well the shipping took i think two days uh he was here he was here in no time at all so um yeah it's a good experience so far so anyway uh first things first let's go ahead and get this guy temperature acclimated i'm gonna i'm gonna get the bag in the tank and um temperature acclimate him the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to slowly acclimate him to the salinity of my aquarium uh you don't just dump the aquarium um, water bag into your tank because then you're mixing everything that's in this water into your home system and you don't want to be doing that so what we're going to do is temperature acclimate then we're going to drip acclimate then we're going to go ahead and get them in the tank. I can go ahead and skip all those steps um, on camera at least. And then uh, we'll, we'll come back with some footage of him in the aquarium. So here we go.
Well, it's been a couple of days since I have done the unboxing. It did take a few days in order for him to actually come out. He pretty much hid behind the rocks for two days. I couldn't get any footage of him. So I decided just to wait until I could get that little bit of footage that you just saw. Um, he didn't look too good at the beginning. He was just adjusting, but now he's finally starting to come out and eat and all that good stuff. So I'm pretty confident that he's going to be a really good addition to this aquarium. I am very excited. Um, I'm happy with the way th the tank is turning out in general. Um, I have had a couple of little frags die on me. Um, but some of my larger corals are doing very very well so we're just gonna have to see how this tank develops in the future but anyway that will wrap it up for me today guys i thank you so much for watching please like share subscribe if you haven't done so already and we will catch you in the next one